Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another Serious Hero episode. I hope you're all doing great. So in the beginning of this video, I just want to say that if you haven't seen any of the other episodes in the series, there will be a link to the entire playlist where you can watch from the beginning in the top of the description. And I'm going to actually start this video off by selling my loot tab because uh, it was actually at like 36 mil before I took out this inventory and uh, discluding this money of course, this is the money that I still have left and I feel like it's not that big so I actually want to just sell all of this and see where I end up. So now that I've sold everything I have a total cash stack of 40 mil which is a decent amount I would say and for this video I have two goals I want to complete. I want to kill quite a lot of chaos elementals and try to get the pet from that to get my third boss pet and then after that I also have 19 dark totems that I want to try to get a greater demon task on to get some uh, extra slayer experience and also have the chance of getting the scotizo pet which should in theory be a 1 in 3 chance with these totems because it's 1 in 60 drop rate or I think 1 in 65 so a bit less than one third chance but it's a pretty decent chance I would say to get the pet. I'm going to start off by doing Chaos Elemental, so I bought the uh, Vigoras Chain Maze and this is the setup that I'm going to be using, this gear setup with the Vigoras Chain Maze and I'm going to be safe spotting the Chaos Elemental by the tree and I will show you guys that in just a sec. This is going to be my setup for uh, safe spotting melee and it says I'm risking 200k but I'm actually risking 400k because of the ether in the maze. So I am using the Anacarl teleport tabs to teleport to the chaos elemental and then I am running to this area right here, the tree here and after I have aggro the boss he will get stuck on the other side of the tree and then I can just safe spot him like this with the Vigoras chain maze and hit once and run back and wait for the health bar to disappear and then do it again. So here we go, this is the first loot that I got. <laughs> Very underwhelming, but the drops from Chaos Elemental is not that great. I couldn't show you guys, but you can see on the right side I got a Dragon 2 hander, which is fairly rare, but a full team logged in beside me, so I had to log out quick. But uh, here you can see that I do have it in my inventory, I did manage to pick it up before I got PK'd. So doing the Vigoras Chain Maze option is very nice because you can be here for a very long time without using food. But it also takes a very long time for each kill because you have to wait for the HP bar to disappear and all that. So I actually just wanted to speed things up and I bought a Crafts Bow and it's supposed to be like maybe 5 kills a trip if you get uh, some food drops and all that. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how much faster each kill is going to be with this weapon. It should be substantially faster. Well, the kills are definitely a lot better, but that's also a dragon two-hander again. It's worth like nothing, it's fairly rare, so it feels bad. First time I died to PKers, like 20 kills in, I think, so not too bad, not too many PKers. Oh my god, dra dragon pickaxe, that's like 5 mil. I think that's fairly rare, maybe it's like 1 in 256, I think that's what it is, but 5 mil, very nice. So if you guys want to see how effective the crafts bow is with the gear I'm using, you can see right now. It is actually super super good, it does so much damage to the boss, and yeah, it does make you take a lot of damage compared to the Vigorous Chainmail, so you do have to use a lot of food when you're here. But I would say 5 kills per trip with really fast banking at the mage bank is really worth it. Because in that time you can get like 20 kills with the crafts bow, you could have got like 5 with the vigorous chain maze. This is usually how it goes when I get PK'd. Uh, I see one PK and he skulls on me and then I'm like, oh well, I have a crafts bow, it's pretty good damage. And then all of a sudden, 4 people come out and one shot me, so... Pretty unfortunate, but uh, that's the way it is. It's not too bad. Well, this got me an idea. You can actually buy the Helms of Nate, it's not for 50k from an NPC, so one of them bought now, but for a very high price. So I should actually try and buy some and sell them. All you have to do is you have to go and talk to this guy right here and have no Helms of Nate, it's not in your bank or inventory, and then you get one for 50k. And you drop it and you buy another one and I will try to sell them and see what happens. Well, that is a merge if I've ever seen one. Uh, I don't know why no one else is doing this. Maybe I should buy some and sell later. Oh no, I have a feeling that uh, a shield left half from the Chaos Elemental is uh, extremely rare. So we're not going to talk about that too much. I actually thought this was kind of funny. So this guy was trying to kill me for a very, very long time. And I got teleported to the same area like all the time. And I think it was because he already had the Wilderness Diaries completed where you can choose where it's going to teleport you. But I always got the 44 Wilderness or the 50 Deep Wilderness. And finally he did actually manage to kill me, but it was only with the help of the Chaos Elemental. 
So that's pretty unfortunate, but yeah, regardless of the Chaos Elemental, it would have killed me, but it took a very long time for him, which is a promising thing when I'm killing the Chaos Ellie. So when this Chaos Elemental dies, we now have 100 KC. No pet yet, but the pet is 1 in 300, and we have got two Dragon Two Hands and uh, one Dragon Pickaxe, which is extremely lucky. As always, I have super good luck at bossing, I don't know why, but no pet yet. So this was actually the first time I did manage to escape and I just wanted to put it in the video to show that uh, I can actually survive sometimes when uh, PKers attack me even though I'm not very good at PKing. So I had two people on me and I think the reason I survived was because of that prayer flick right there. It wasn't really intentional to block the AGS spec, I was really only uh, looking at the dragon scimitar coming in and then they... I think they missed this freeze on me, yeah they did. And then the uh, Hellhounds are going to attack me here when I wanted to log out, which was pretty unfortunate. But uh, I did manage to run away and it didn't seem like they really wanted to hunt me anymore, it seemed like they just gave up on me. I was only <laughs> worth like 400k anyways, but felt nice. Unfortunately I could not get live commentary on this clip because there was a lot of sounds in the background, but look at that. 112kc for the pet? And also extremely lucky, just like the Dragon Pickaxe and all that. I once again am super lucky with bossing. That's one third of the drop rate of the pet, just about. Time to put this Chaos Elemental pet beside my two other ones. So now we have the Kree pet, the Alchemical Hydra pet, and the Chaos Elemental pet. And I have 19 Dark Totems in the bank, so let's use all of them and see if we can get Scotizo pet. I didn't want this to get too repetitive because I was going to do 19 Scotizo kills, but I would just have them in the background meanwhile talking. And also here I got... 95 ranged while I was doing one of the hard clues and look at that another shield left half But yeah, I did all the clue scrolls that I got from Scotizo, which was a total of 19 So we will open them after I am done with all the kills and also the loot from Scotizo is very very good I mean every single drop was like maybe 200k on average, which is super super good and here also I got the dark claw so I have a three different Slayer Helmets I can make now. I can make the Abyssal Demon Helmet, I can make the Alchemical Hydra Helmet, and also now the Scotizo Helmet. The, so I have the purple one, the kind of white greenish one, and the red one. But I can't actually make any of them because I don't have any points. Unfortunately, no pet from all of those kills, but it was technically like 1 in 3 or 1 in 3.5 to get the pet from the amount of totems I had, but the loot was pretty good that you could see on the right side. Let's get these open and see what we get. 19 hard clues. Nothing too good so far, but uh, from 19 clues you can't actually expect something amazing, I guess. Okay, here we go after banking. Bandos Chaps, that's pretty decent, pretty good value. I'm getting pretty good value on these hard clues actually, to be fair. Even though it's nothing too special, it's still pretty decent. Okay, banking again. Last ones, let's see what we get. Oh, that's two pages in one clue. Damn, that's pretty good. Um, okay, that's all of them. So nothing too amazing. Let's go on the right side here. Yep, that's not too bad from 19 clues and the normal Scotizo loot. Pretty good money. This is what it looks like when you haven't done Solra in three years and you have a total kill count of seven. I actually really want to get good at Solra because the money is so amazing. But I actually did manage to get a kill, you can see right here, on my second attempt. And yeah, I'm failing a lot. I'm only going to do a couple of kills in this video and see if I can improve just a bit so I can do more in the future. I did a total of 7 kills, so meanwhile the last loot here roll over. I'm just going to say that I will definitely do more Solra in the future, but I just wanted to try to get into it again and learn how to do it. And you can see now on the last kill I have pretty good supplies left which is quite the contrary compared to the other kills that I did. But you can see here, this is why I want to do Solra. Seven kills and I got over one million in loot. And I really need money right now. So as one last thing, look at this. I actually did buy quite a lot of these Helm of Natis knots that I was talking about earlier in this video for a pretty good price and I sold them for a really high price. So I'm really surprised that people are not doing more of this because look, I sold them for like 70k plus and I bought them for a really, really low price. After seeing that you could buy them for like 100k, even though they were 50k in the beginning, yeah, pretty good flip right there. I made, not sure how much I made, but for sure over one mil, I, I think at least. And of course, the update on my bossing progress. You can see that I have now got 14 Solra KC, and we also added all those 112 KC to the Chaos Elemental. 
Other than that, we'll still have the Mole to do, K Corporal Beast, Vorkath, the Nightmare and Callisto on this page. And on the second slide we added pretty much only Scotizo, 19 more KC to that one from 21 to 40. Also I did actually add one to the Chaos Fanatic because I did actually kill one of those meanwhile on the Chaos Elemental grind. Just thought I would do one kill of that meanwhile I was passing through. And on this page we also still have the Scorpia, Solcano, of course Suck and the two raid bosses left and then the Moss Giant boss and the uh, Hill Giant boss which are two very easy bosses to do. 62 woodcutting, I'm actually on the grind to the Elf City quest, which is very far off to be honest. I'm going to go down all the way here if I can actually find the quest. It should be right here. So I still need to do Morning's End Part 2, which also has some requirements, and then I need to get all these skills. And that is why I'm doing woodcutting right now, because as I said in the earlier clip, I have to do Solcano, and that is only if you have completed the Song of the Elves. So I also have more quests to do as well, of course Dragon Slayer 2 for the uh, Vorkath boss, but that will be in the future. So uh, this is going to be the end for this video, as I have some grinding to do. The next video is probably not going to be the Solcano boss, as I have quite a grind to get there, but hopefully in the near future we can get that done. But for now, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and click any of the videos or playlists on screen right now. It really does help me get seen more, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.